Today I'm here Tools, let's go over the brand new DeWalt XR DCD 800 drill driver. This new XR drill driver has 900 unit watts out, two speed modes, 650 RPMs on speed one and 2000 RPMs on speed two. It is a 15 point clutch, a fully half inch metal chuck. Tool only, this tool weighs two pounds and 14.1 ounces. There are three modes to the 70 lumen work light. You could also adjust it which I think is awesome. And you could also have it as a 20 minute high powered work light. The standard charger charges 12 volt batteries and it charges the 20 volt batteries. All right, so first we'll do a three quarter inch drill bit. We'll see how this does doing three in a row on speed one. Then two, we got one more to go. Not too shabby, Five set, 5.40 seconds. Now let's go to speed two. Yeah, that, that this makes a lot, uh, speed two does a lot better you guys, it, it really does. 2.50 seconds on speed two, what a difference. Next, let's do a one inch spade bit. Let's see how this does on speed one. Not too shabby, 2.66 seconds. Now let's uh, check out speed two. 1.01 seconds, not too shabby. Let's do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We are gonna do this on speed two. Let's see how well this does. Completed it, 1.11 seconds. All right, now let's do a one and a half inch speed board. This task, not many drills can do this on speed two. We'll see if this DeWalt DCD 800 can. Speed one is first. Not bad, 2.20 seconds. Great job. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. This is the cowboy killer right here. Let's see. Nope, it failed. Unfortunately, this drill failed. It might be the battery. It might do better in the future in a versus video with a 21700 cell battery. Didn't quite make the cut. Try it again, failed. One more time. Failed. Let's try to, let's try to finish this on speed one. And it is able to complete it on speed one. All right, now let's try the power stack battery. The 1.7 amp hour. The battery is full. It's on speed two. Realistically, you're not gonna be doing this task on speed two anyways. You're gonna do this on speed one on the job site. Next, let's do Milwaukee hole dozer holes. We'll do two and five eighths, three inch, and four and one eighth inch holes. We'll do the two and five eighths inch first on speed one. Yeah, in speed one, it's a bit slow, you guys. It still does the task, but for this type of task, I would do this on speed two. It's it's slow, 28.68 seconds. That's that's pretty slow. All right, let's try it on speed two. Let's see what the difference is. Yeah, that's biting into that, uh, the teeth is biting into that wood a lot, a lot better by a long shot. And we have 9.77 seconds. All right, next let's do the three inch on speed two. Let's see if we can even do it. That dust goes everywhere. It really does. But it cuts out the hole nice and smooth. Just gotta rock it a little bit just to so that you continuously bite into the wood. 12.30 seconds, not too shabby. Now let's do the four and one eighth inch hole. Yeah, this is all you gotta do to completely lock in that saw. Great engineering on Milwaukee's part with these hole dozers. But this drill is able to do a four and one eighth inch hole. Not bad, didn't stop, didn't stutter, didn't do anything, it just kept on going. And then 14.47 seconds, not too shabby. Good job, DeWalt. Not too shabby at all. Once again, you guys, just to take this stuff out, just grab a flathead and then just pry it out. It's not too shabby, DeWalt. All right, so next we're gonna use the T40 bit on this six and three quarter inch flat lock. This is the first time using this on the channel, so, so we'll see how this goes. Driving this into two four by fours with 3.94 seconds, not too shabby. Let's take it out. 3.35 seconds, not too shabby. Next up in line, we're gonna use the Hilti Nut Setter bit to drive in the six inch specs into two four by fours. Let's see how well this does. Using a five amp hour battery, total time is 3.87 seconds, not too shabby. Oh, let's take it out. Final number for this is time. 
3.94 seconds. That was on speed one, so let's switch over to speed two. Wow, what a difference. 1.48 seconds. All right, you guys get it. I just want to show you guys one thing really quick. I didn't really talk about the clutch on these tools. This dial does, it's like a sort of a torque setting. Now the motor will automatically stop once you have a certain setting for a certain screw. Of course, you want to adjust this clutch for the type of screw and the length of the screw you have and adjusting it to the type of wood you're driving it into. But we are going to take this out on speed too, so let's get to it. See what this can do. Taking it out at 1.24 seconds. Not too shabby, DeWalt. Not too shabby at all. All right, as you can see, we have a two inch screw. We have the clutch setting on one. Let's see how far this will drive this two inch screw in. Less than halfway on speed two. Clutch setting is on five, so let's see how far I can drive the next screw in. A little bit further, but not all the way. And of course, if you put it on the highest clutch setting, it'll drive it all the way through, as you can see. The DeWalt didn't too too much, so it shouldn't be too hot, but the final temperature of this DeWalt DCD 800 is 119 degrees. I'm so excited that DeWalt is actually expanding their XR line. So I'm glad that they're making their tools more compact and more powerful, but we are going to do a versus video in the future of the previous XR drill driver model. DeWalt does have bigger hammer drills, but they're actually in a completely different class than these are. So versus video coming up. And unfortunately, when I bought this, I was hoping to get a different type of battery. On display, they had a different type of 4 and a half hour battery with the hammer drill package. So as you can see right here that the battery is pretty much flush with the base of the actual tool and the new 4 amp hour batteries are actually a lot wider so I'm wondering if the new 4 amp hour batteries have a 21700 cells that are normal XR batteries. Not the skinnier 4 amp hour battery but they actually have a 4 amp hour battery this size that is fatter. I'm curious if that has 21700 cells. I do not know but we will find out in the future. And like I told you guys in the past if Hilti sends me some SDS hammer drills which they did. I actually got the DeWalt Atomic SDS hammer drill. This thing is pretty cool now when it cut this is brand new this is not a return i'm just wondering what is rattling inside i'm not sure what that might be so yeah video coming out on this i have so many videos i gotta upload you guys and do combinations with i still need to upload the flex versus ryobi single-handed reciprocating saws so i do hope that this video is helpful for you guys to see if you guys wanted to get this tool and you needs a little bit more convincing to make the final purchase i always say that these are real decisions that are costly this is a 219 dollar kit these are big purchases and these are this is real people's money so i'm hoping that this video helps you out with that i personally love this drill feels great in the hand dewalt has a great handle which that's very important because it, you will if they're if it's comfy in your hand you'll love to use it i hope you guys like the new style of video that will be uploaded from here on out this is not going to go anywhere this is the norm now if you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time